You're watching the Samsung Galaxy A11 disassembly. First go ahead and remove the SIM tray. Next use a plastic pry tool to get in between the plastic housing of the phone and the black frame around the screen. And go ahead and pop the catches around the housing. Now once you popped all the catches around the back housing and it's loose from the frame, before you lift up and remove it, you're gonna have to pry off the fingerprint scanner over here from the back housing. So go ahead and heat this area up a little bit with a hair dryer or a heat gun and then go ahead and press down on the fingerprint scanner. Because there's some adhesive around here, you're just gonna have to pry it off the back housing. And then you can remove this. Here's a look at the inside of the back housing. As you can see it's plastic. Next, we have three Phillips screws we need to remove. One here, one here, and one located here. So we can lift up and remove this metal bracket over here covering the connectors. Once the screws are removed, we can lift up and remove this metal bracket. Now we're gonna disconnect the battery cable first. Once the battery cable is disconnected, we can go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. There's also one wire cable over here we have to pop off. At this point, there are 13 more Phillips screws we need to remove. Now once all the screws are removed, there's a catch over here in the metal frame, which you need to get a tool in between the metal frame and the motherboard. And you're gonna have to press up against the motherboard to lift it up and away from the catch. And then you can lift up and remove your main board. So here's a better look at your main board. There's a plastic cover over here which is covering the connectors for the camera. We're gonna have to peel up this film over here. And then you can just lift it up, pull it out of the socket and remove it. So at this point, you'd be able to disconnect the cables for the cameras by popping them off like this. There's also a copper heat transfer tape over here, over the shields. And here on the back side of the board, you can disconnect the front facing camera popping it off and you can disconnect your other camera as well your proximity sensor is located here your headphone jack is here and your sim readers are over here removing the cover over the shields on the back reveals thermal paste over here on top of the qualcomm processor and some thermal paste over here on top of another chip now let's go ahead and remove this plastic cover and speaker assembly on the bottom So here's your speaker assembly right here. Now there's one flex cable here we have to disconnect as well as a wire cable right next to it. And then we can lift up and remove the charger port board. Here's a better look at that. All right, so when it comes to removing the battery, it's a very difficult process since there's no easy pull tabs and there's a lot of adhesive strips underneath it. So you're gonna have to use a blow dryer or a heat gun to heat up the adhesive underneath the battery to make it easier to pry off. Start applying heat from the front side of the screen over here so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath the battery because you don't wanna overheat the battery by any chance heating that side up. And then use a plastic pry tool to try to gently pry off the battery. It's gonna take you some time to pry off the battery, so just be gentle with it so you don't damage the battery. So here's a better look at your battery. It 
So at this point, you're left with the mid frame, your vibrator motor over here, your earpiece speaker here on top. You have your power button volume keys over here and the flex cable is run through over here underneath the board. Now let's peel this film off over here. So once you peel off the film over here, it looks like the flex cable that leads from your main board to the charger port board, which comes out over here and attaches to it, is attached to the same flex cable, which leads to the screen. So at this point, if you wanted to replace the screen, you would have to heat the front up and pry the screen off from the mid frame. And you have to run these cables through the slit over here in the mid frame, apply your new screen and just reverse the whole process. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the phone back together. Once all your screws are back in place, place your back cover back over and pop all the catches back in place and then flip the phone over, power it on and you're done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.